Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Gekko Kujo. Now, when we left off, we had just begun our siege against the Satake clan and their last remaining town. And I believe we will probably be able to take this as well as one of their additional castles in this episode if these vassals do not have anything to say about it, of course, because as you may see in the garrison here, they have begun to, shall we say, shore up their banks. They are attempting to prevent us from sieging once again. But we will not let that happen. We will be battering down their gates as quickly as we can and leading our soldiers in an assault against them. So let's just make sure that we do not get taken out too easily as I would prefer to try to sustain most of our units here, try to keep all of them alive as best we can. And if they do go down, then it would be nice if they were knocked unconscious instead of absolutely getting killed. So let's just take a look here, make sure that we're not getting shot by any gunners, because you know how effective, I mean, ineffective their gunners can be. Who knows? Yes. So let's see here. I would like to get my bow out a little bit. Maybe we should get some retaliatory shots going off against them here. Now, I must just mention that Ooh, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm that good at archery any further. Oh, there we are. That's actually not too bad. Nice headshot right there. Now, hopefully that fellow will not move. Yes, he is not. Nice headshot. No? Okay, no more headshots, it appears. Okay, well, let's just head in here now. And at least we've thinned out a couple of their archers, so we don't have to take too much damage from them now. But, as you may see here, Kaguya and George are going on a complete killing spree, actually. Wow, Kaguya is doing an excellent job. Well, I suppose we should expect that. She is absolutely amazing. And I'm just hoping that Mei Ling will be able to get into the fray very soon as well. She is one of our better warriors as well, so... Yes, here we go. Entering from the side. Take out their gunners in the gunnery nest, the archery nest, whatever other nest you want to say. But goodness me, we need to take them out. Yes, there we are. Thank you very much. That saves our units quite a bit of time as well in their detour. They can take down that guy as well over there, very easily indeed. And now, hopefully, oh my, I believe this is actually one of the lesser known layouts, or at least in my experience, I have not encountered a layout such as this in quite some time. So it appears that this will be relatively difficult because usually we are, well, let's just say relatively simple getting to the inner castle, but as it stands, this layout is a little less known to me, so we may indeed have quite a few issues, but as a result of that, we are probably going to be a little bit better in terms of our combat abilities, because we are going to be more cautious, we're going to be more deadly and very dangerous indeed to our enemies, hopefully. Because as you can see here, I just took 10 unnecessary damage, actually 20 unnecessary damage, from one of their retainer units. So hopefully we'll be able to take these guys out as swiftly as we can and not take too much damage from them still. Goodness me, taking way too much in my opinion. And yes, there we are. Okay, so there is a couple of units in that small structure over there, but I don't think we'll need to command our units individually just yet. I do think that we would benefit from telling our units to hold position soon, but not just yet perhaps. I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest. I think maybe it would have been a good idea to tell them to hold position before we entered this particular area, because as we know, this area is laden with death because of their archery units raining down their projectiles upon us. Let's take out this guy while we can. There we are, and oh wow, we really need to get in there. Hopefully our commando unit here, our very small contingent of units, will be able to penetrate their lines and we'll be able to get in there and distract their archers enough for the other reinforcements that we are currently getting. As you may see on the map there, they are winding their way through the streets of the town and they will eventually get here. Hopefully not injured in the least, so we will have a very strong fighting force when we enter the inner sanctum, as it were. And now let's just make sure that we don't take too much damage from these spearmen. They have been known to do quite a bit to us, but the retainers mostly... Oh my goodness, okay. Ten damage right there from one of their spearmen. Great. Good work proving me wrong, spearmen. That is very rude of you. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh no, take him out. Try to interrupt his swing right there. I was a little bit nervous about that fellow because he was winding up an overhead attack and I was envisaging absolutely getting massacred by him. 
but thankfully enough, we do still seem to be alive, for now at least. Come on. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, okay. How many units do we have? We have 65, we've lost 54 to wounds, and 17 to death. Which I have to admit is not too good, and why am I running in here first? Oh no. Okay. Let's approach them from the side, and we will attempt to do as much damage as we can. Come on! Before we get taken out, if we are going to get taken out, I hope we will not be taken out, of course. I think we've probably taken out as many of the enemy's units as we potentially can to ensure our victory, hopefully. Come on, let's do this. Oh yes, okay, we're doing reasonably well now. Yes, okay, it appears we are outnumbering their units now, and thankfully enough, they are no longer getting any reinforcements. Well, that is what I can hope will be the case anyway. Come on, let's do this. Take down all these guys, thank you very much, and oh no, don't get cornered. That would be terrible, Bruce, oh yes. Watch your flank, there we are, okay, that seems fine. Okay, there it is. Oh, very nice. That was a pretty decisive victory, if I do say so myself. However, we do need to rest up a little bit to make sure all of our units, as you can see here, 14 Hatamoto guards were wounded in that battle. And we took out, whoa, a grand total of 277 units. That is quite the thing. Oh my. Okay, so... As you can see here, this fellow does actually have 48 relation with us, and I'm thinking maybe it would be a good idea to let him go, as he might join us. So, let's do that. Now, wow, okay, it appears that most of the people we have an opportunity to capture are friends with us, so that is making it obviously a little bit more difficult to take them prisoner. Uh, no. Okay. Well, without further ado, they have a huge amount of units here. What are we going to take? Oh, no. Aha, Chosakabe units, that is our first port of call, as well as Onabushis, very nice indeed. And, oh yes, we actually get a couple of samurai units as well, as well as some retainers too. That is pretty nice. Okay, well, other than that, we're going to take some peasant women, because they do become Onabushis, I like those units a lot. And now, what else do we want to get? Do we want to get Takata units, Satomi units, Uesugi units, who knows? What are we going to get? Hmm. Ah, Samurai Wives. We want to take those. They do become Onobushis as well. Okay, we're going to take some Miyoshi units because I don't believe that the Miyoshi clan are still in the game. So they shouldn't have any effect on our morale. Now the Nanbu clan. I'm not entirely sure whether they're still in. Amoko clan? Ah, I don't actually know about that. I think the Amoko clan is out. So we'll take the Amoko units. I hope they are out anyway, otherwise we're going to have a couple of issues, perhaps. Now, what else? Takata clan? I think the Takata clan is also out? Hmm. Well, we have another 20 units to find. So do we want to take farmers? Do we want to take some ronin, caravan guards? Hmm. We could take some veteran ronin. I think they'll come in quite handy. And now we only have five. So I think we'll just take the ronin units left over here, and that will be it. Now, let's just take a couple of these units here as prisoners. Even though I'm not entirely sure why I'm even really attempting to take them prisoner, because we do have, as you may see, 85,000 mon on us, and our weekly wages are so considerably less that I don't really think we'll have any issues with money. And this is also makes me wonder why I'm taking any loot, but maybe it would be a good idea just to continue our humbleness, perhaps. Yes, humbleness is definitely a word. And we are now going to be heading on with our appointment of this particular fief. Now, Mito is a town, so... Hmm. Oh my goodness, as you can see here, these are all of the vassals that I have taken and accepted the pledges of. So, not entirely sure whether I should award any of these fellows any villages as they may want to leave at a certain point in the future. However, we are rather powerful as it stands, so maybe we want to start giving them thieves. Hmm, that is a little unfortunate. Okay, we'll start at the top. Who does not have a thief? Lord Akagawa. Okay, well, we'll do that. Now, as you may see, the text log does not even appear with our decision, because, of course, we have... 
<laughs> Way too many vassals. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I need to see it. Ah, okay. Maybe we'll go to our notes here and we'll take a look. Okay, so as you may see here, we just need to make sure that our companion vassals are not upset. Because if they are, then we are going to have a great deal of pain coming our way. So let's make sure. Okay, Gonosuke is the lowest. Musashi is followed by him. 24 and 14... Hmm. Okay, Lord Aura is fine. And Lady Marisa is okay as well. Yeah, so Lord Gonosuke, he definitely needs to get something. He's down to 12 now, so that is definitely something we need to fix. And now... We're going to head on to Hitachi Castle, I believe. Who is this fellow? Great Lord Satake. Oh, no. Oh, well. Let's wait here and rejuvenate our units, and we will see whether he launches a counterattack against us. Hopefully that will not be the case, so that we can just head on to one of the castles. I think he may have seen that I was on my way to Hitachi Castle, and that is exactly why he is not making any moves against us at Mito. At least that is my thoughts on it, anyway. Hmm. It appears that that might be the case. Okay, well, we do have a rather considerable amount of units here, so... Yes, some wonderful samurai wives there. Amako clan units as well. Okay, so... Hmm, we are not fully rejuvenated just yet, so we'll wait here for a little bit more, and then... We won't be heading on to Hitachi Castle, but we will head on instead to Utsu Nomoya. Yes? Maybe. Okay. Well, I tried my best, and... Oh, never mind. Okay, so I thought that he was on his way to Hitachi Castle to defend it from us. But it appears that we will need to mount a significant defense against Great Lord Satake's 263 units. And as you may see here, we have a faction elimination as well. Everything is going off. Oh my. Okay, so the Hojo Clan is no more. Finally. And yes, as you may see here, we do have a slight problem with the Uesugi clan, I think. So, yes, I'm not entirely sure about whether we will be able to potentially deal any damage to them. And did I just click the wrong option? I think I clicked the wrong option for Mei Ling. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Okay, while I was concentrating on talking about the Uesugi clan, I probably clicked the wrong option. So Mei Ling is no longer a part of our party, however, I will be finding her as quickly as I can. So let's go into the inn, and we'll see whether we can find a traveler. Hmm. I don't think any of these fellows are going to help us out. Are they? No. This fellow? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, she will be easy enough to find, so do not worry. Hmm. Okay. We have some poems. We are already married, so I don't think that will make too much difference at this time. Now... Ah, that's unfortunate. That would have been amazing if we could have found a traveler right there so we could know where to go. Now, it appears that Great Lord Sataki is actually at odds with... What? Oh my goodness! With 948 of our units, I can only assume that the great amount of vassals we have have actually turned up to assist us here, which is actually very nice of them. Goodness me, okay. Well, as a result of that, I'm just going to leave Mito to them. They will no doubt be able to very easily defend it. And we will head on to Hitachi Castle, which has a huge amount of units in. Which is rather disappointing, I have to admit. I was hoping that they may have a lot less in comparison to Mito, but it appears they have been gaining strength over these various times when we have been doing battle with the Hojo clan instead. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll just head in here, batter down their gates as quickly as we can. Thankfully enough, Mei Ling was only a warrior archetype and did not hold any of our engineering skill as George does, so we are still able to construct our battering rams incredibly quickly. But yes, that is a little unfortunate. Now Kaguya has no one to face off against, shall we say? But it will always be nice to see Kaguya's name in the combat text, that is for sure. But do not worry, in the next episode of Geku Kujo, Mei Ling will make her return. And I will indeed attempt to find her as best I can with the use of a traveler. 
Hopefully that is how you find companions. I believe it is. So, yes, we'll be able to do that. I took out Lord Wadder immediately right there. Very, very nice. Okay, now, the one thing that I am a little bit unsure of is why I am missing so many times with our overhead slashes. Goodness me. Hmm. Well, you do need to be rather accurate with it, and I am using, well, let's just say a replacement mouse, because my other mouse was... Well, let's just say the mouse wheel was not working too well, so yes. Now, oh my, this is not looking good, is it? Okay, I'll let you fellows go first, and... <laughs> oh yes, we're gonna try to make sure that we don't take too much damage on the way up here. This is a very good strategic area for them, that is for sure, as you can probably tell, by one of our Hatamoto guards already getting taken out. And we are taking zero damage at the moment, but thankfully enough, not more than that. Okay, come on, Hatomoto guards. We can do this. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Take out that guy. I'm going to rush over here and try and take out their archers as best I can. Because all of our other units will no doubt concentrate over there. So let's do this. Let's make sure that we don't get trapped either. They have been known to trap us before. So, oh my goodness. Okay, let's be careful then, shall we? Come on. Oh, yes. I'm not sure whether you wanted to do this, fellows. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, need to be careful about the sword in the top here. Okay, come on. Take him out. Oh, not enough reach. Okay, well, let's just concentrate on the fellows that are shooting. There we are. There we go. Very nice indeed. And now I can rain down death upon these fellows. And a little unfortunate that I have to actually waste arrows on these village recruits, who are relatively easy to take out anyway, but oh well. I suppose that we are thinning out the herd, as it were, and preventing our AI from having to do more, I suppose, because usually our AI is needing to carry us quite considerably. Well, carry me, shall we say, yes. Okay, now, what is that fellow doing? He's just running around in circles. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, well, we'll take him out. There we go. Very nice. Now, hmm, if only I could crouch. If I could crouch, then potentially I could get through these various gaps here, but... Maybe in Mountain Blade 2, who knows? We might be able to have a little bit more flexibility in the way our character moves, but who knows? Now, let's just make sure... Okay, we have 21 arrows remaining, and... Hmm. I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest, that all of our units are staying in such a small clump here. I really thought that they would spread out and potentially widen their field of... effectiveness, maybe? <laughs> Well, nevertheless, I will be heading over here and attempting to cut off some of the enemy's reinforcements before they arrive at the Great Ball of Death that is the Bertil Shogunate units. Oh, yes. Come on. Take those guys out. Oh, no. Careful. No. Why am I so terrible? Goodness me. Okay. It must be the new mouse. That is for sure. Okay. Yes. I'll blame it on the equipment. Yes. Blame it on the equipment. That's the best way to do things. Okay. So, let's do it. Take out these guys, oh my goodness. This is way too many, oh my, yes. Ooh, that was good, that was good. I was very, very nearly captured, maybe, and caught in a very bad situation. Oh no. Now, the one thing I must just mention is that I do believe that swords, or shall we say enemy swordsmen, are definitely my weakness, oh my, and a huge amount of archers are probably my weakness as well. Now, I'm hoping that Oh wow, we still haven't received reinforcements, that is not good. Now, as you may see here, we have taken out 227, 228 units now, and we have 115 remaining. This is going to be very painful if our Hatamoto guards fall before many of their archers, which they may indeed do, because George has just fallen before a mounted officer, but look at this! Look at how many archers they have! This is not good. Okay, well... The best thing we can do, I suppose, is attempt to flank as many of their archers as I can. And, whoa, I thought that guy was actually attempting to shoot us. But it appears he was focusing someone else. That was a big mistake on his part, I think. No, we lost an elite on Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. Okay. Well, come on. Best we can do. Cut off the reinforcements. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We actually parried a couple of times there. That was rather amusing. Okay. Well. Oh, yes. We can actually attack them through here. That is rather wonderful, I must admit. I'm still surprised that we are doing just this well with how many units? I mean, we have 
well, we have 73 now, but we did have 45 just before we received a new reinforcement wave. So, yeah, I'm actually really surprised that we still have those units here, and they are surviving just as well as they are, because as you may see on the map here, we have our reinforcements coming in from the very first spawn point. So, yes, that is definitely something to be very thankful for. Well, <laughs> there we go. That is the first time I have been taken out. At least I wasn't taken out in the Mito siege, I suppose. Now, we do have how many units remaining? Oh, I cannot actually bring up the battle map at this time. So we will have to rely on our replacement unit here, which is probably not going to be a very good idea, because as you may see here, if we just head down, I do believe that most of these units are spearmen. And the spearmen themselves are, shall we say, not exactly combat capable in comparison to the Satake veteran retainers and mounted officers, as you may see. So, that definitely says to me that I probably need to change our army composition rather considerably once I head back to Kyoto after the Satake clan has been dealt with, or at least majorly dealt with. And we are receiving more reinforcements, but I'm not entirely sure whether that will make too much difference if we don't have any more sword-wielding units. The spearmen are very good against horses, of course, but in this type of battle, I do not believe they are very effective. So, I will be retreating, unfortunately. I really did not want to, to be honest. I had a feeling that we would be able to take them out. Look at that, 386 we took down. Wow, that is incredible. But as you may see here, yes, only 27 units remain. Well... We're going to wait until tomorrow, then. We're going to rejuvenate our units as fast as humanly possible. And then, Lady Marisa will lay siege to Kiyosu. Oh my goodness. Let me just abandon the siege real quick. We'll just see. Aha! It is... Oh. Apparently not under siege any further, but I was hoping that Lady Marisa would be able to expand our territory without me having to so much as lift a finger. That would be wonderful. Well, nevertheless... We will head into Hitachi Castle once again after we have rejuvenated our units. Okay, so as you can see, we have re-entered the Battle of Hitachi Castle, and as you may see, I have been a little impatient, perhaps. I only have 30% HP, so I should be a little more cautious than usual, but I do believe that we will be able to survive until the very end. So, let's do this, fellows. Let's head in here. Hopefully not get taken out immediately by some of their veteran retainers. That would be absolutely catastrophic for that to happen. Now, hmm, wait a minute. I do have an archery skill here, so let's attempt to take them out as best we can. Oh my goodness, did I really miss that? Okay, well, a headshot maybe makes up for that. Now, let's try to get some skill shots going on here. Hmm. Wait... Ah, uh, I'm really trying to shoot that guy over the edge there, but it appears that he needed to show himself for us to be successful in that endeavor. A little unfortunate. There we are. Take him out. Very nice. Okay. So, we have, <laughs> yes, 110 units against the enemy's 19. Now, unfortunately, the enemy is a little bit more spread out than I would have liked, so it may take a little bit more time for us to take them out, but... I think it is worth it so that we lose a less of our spearmen, just in case we do enter into some field battles with the Oda clan, and they have a lot of cavalry at that time. So let's just make sure that we actually get over there before we are all taken out by their samurai gunners. Oh no. Okay, well, at the moment it actually appears that we're doing a reasonable job. And only 10 units remain. I would like to shoot these guys, if possible. There we are. Nice headshot. And, ooh, lovely headshot from Kaguya right there. Oh, my goodness. That is very impressive. Okay, only 8 units. We are approaching the pinnacle of this particular fief, and we will eventually be able to find our quarries and, indeed, take them out. Okay, I'll take this guy out so that I can actually save the AI a little bit of 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> yes, Chosokabe Hetomoto Archers, everyone. Amazing unit. And now, let's just take a look. Hmm, okay. It appears my archery skill will be put to the test here. Maybe. Yes, nice headshot right there. And maybe another one. Yes, thank you very much. And another one? No, okay. Well, that was an unfortunate miss, but maybe I can finish this guy off before he finishes me off. Yes, there we are. Okay, and now our Hatamoto guards will finish up the rest, and there it is. Hitachi Castle has been consumed by the Bear-Tilled Shogunate. Very nice indeed. So, six morale was our reward for that. Of course, as you may have seen, we did gain 28 morale in the previous battle. So, that's pretty nice. Now, let's have a look here. What do we want to take? Oh my. We probably want to take some Ronin units once again. Yeah, why not? And maybe some Takeda mounted officers. And some retainers. And I don't really want to take any spearmen, to be honest. We have too many of them, as you can see here. Look at that, 52. Wow, that is quite a few. We do need to obviously spread out the swordsmen a little bit further. But it appears that I am actually able to take as many units as we deem it necessary, as you may tell here. We have all the space in the world to take every single unit. So there we go. That's not too bad. Now, I'll take some of these anyway, even though we are rolling in money. And there it is. Very nice. Now, I suppose we'll give this to Lord Nanjo. Yes. Okay. Well, next time we'll give it to Lord Gonosuke, I believe. Oh, wow. He didn't actually go down with that. Oh, yes, he did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yes. So, next time on Gekukujo, Utsu Nomiya Castle. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, that will be our next target, and it will be the next fief that is awarded to Lord Gonosuke. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.